the chat. I'm your boy Truth, and today we're playing Faria, and we're doing something a little special today. We're going to be doing um, <clears throat> a little question answering in between the load times to make things a little interesting. Um, we'll see what we get. I mean, I'll show you how I'm going to do it, and that how is going to be really important for later. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the quests. We have Destroy 15 creatures. Didn't get to that um, last time I was playing, so it'd be nice to finish that one up. Create threat 20 lands. Uh, that's not, we'll get that over time. Three wins <laughs> with my uh, win streaks uh, and loss streaks. It's uh, hard to say how we'll go with that one, but hopefully uh, we'll have our luck because we're doing roaming yak. So we get to work with my yak deck, the deck that. Uh, I had conceptualized before I even started playing because I saw that this game had yaks, which is like a meme uh, type of deck, and that's like totally my style. So I was like, I latched onto that. So I've been working on this. This is my yak deck, and we're tweaking it as we go. It'll hopefully get there one day, but we are running a roaming yak already. So we got three of those. Two Longhorn Yaks, so this one um, is just a okay in terms of stats. It's just a 3-2-3, three, three, but its last words is what uh, gives it its value because it essentially turns its attack and adds it to the next card you draw. So since we're pretty much, I think we are, we, yeah, there is, oh, there is one event. It's al an almost an entirely, uh, you know, creature-based deck, so... Um, that's a lot of cards that can it, it can buff, and then we have Yak Shepherd, which essentially just buffs your cards and allows them to move across the field really quickly, um, but it only lasts for one turn. So this, the Yaks kind of they snowball, and then you have um, Yak Attack, which you send a bunch of little angry Yaks that have haste, uh, and then the more Yaks that die uh, makes the mother of all Yaks very very sad. So she get, becomes. Uh, cost one less for yak that dies and then <clears throat> she's just a really strong card because she summons two four four yaks with taunt so it's a good way to either um kind of checkmate your opponent or um have a good um block for your face so you can have a, your comeback um uh, all right And then we have our um, our one of each color, um, so it's not too hard to get. You know, if you need to pivot one turn, you can go to the next color. Um, so it makes them versatile. I didn't. I I guess I could start to you know lean into one color. I suppose to you know use some of their more of the event uh, color specific events, but yeah, one thing at a time. So I'll just show I'll just show you how it plays, and then you can get a feel for it that way. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. All right, we're playing Yakis. All right, and as promised, we will go to Boom, Cora. Oh. Of course. Well, I guess that wasn't uh, too long of a wait, so we can go back to this. <laughs> hello, hello. Zavloda V. <clears throat> Alright. I say this is Acceptable. We'll take, do a take it. So with Yaks, what I like to do is just uh, go hard to the face. Um, we'll actually hold back. It's not like we're collecting Feria, so we're just going to rush rush. Um, the reason is because we have the Oversky Yak, which if we get um, six prairies, then it gets plus two plus two. And it needs at least one colored land, which is covered by all our other yaks. 
Or we can start to pivot and do Ruby Yak. No, I think we stick to the plan. So we're just going to bop, 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 bop. And now we can drop down this boy because now we can collect here. So now we get to decide which color we want to pivot towards. I think we're going to do blue because if a friendly uh, Yak heart a harvest from an enemy well against plus two plus two. So we're gonna start harvesting from his well already. Hopefully he has no taunt. Oh, oof. <laughs> That's a big taunt. But I have a war yak. Bop, bop. So, I could just pivot over this way because he committed a lot of uh, feria for this. I think I might do that. Just Yeah, just drop. Come on. No. Please put the land there. <laughs> Why? Why can't I put the yak? There we go. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, maybe I should have thought this out because now he can cross over hmm didn't think that one through that's right we'll learn the yaks That's how I feel right now, man. Hmm. I suppose I can just go defensive now, which is... And go... Ruby Yak, back here. Why you lag? All right, and just chill. Welcome in, welcome in. All right. Aha! Take that. We're on the board. Oh, there we are. Here's here's our card. It's just a really buff. Uh, roaming yak. It it missed out on its legs though. It's skip leg day. Um. I think we just start taking up a lot of land. So this next move is what I like to call the do si do. If I can play card. All right. Who took all the packets? So what I can do is use dash. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll take up this land. Hop up here. And use the other land that I 
kept. We go, ha ha. There we go. Now he has to have a decision whether he wants to destroy the really buff roaming yak or go after my ruby yak back here. I think he might go backwards though. We'll see. No. That's right. Hmm. He's got a lot of feria, man. Welcome to my court. Oh yeah, just what we needed. Hmm. So we could plus one since we're already getting a land from this. See, I think what we can do. What's a place out of range of this? I don't think there is one. I think. Up, up. And then it's just a one move. I think we can do that. Drop the land there, dash onto it. Now I can contest this. He's probably going to go face anyway. And I can drop this over sky yak back here. If it'll let me, please. Fine. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to make a move anyway. That's no. Then he'll go for the bad trade. It's fine. We'll take it to the face. I'm scared of the legendary he's gonna start getting though. Ugh, my face. Oh, no. All my Romayax destroyed. I think we try to draw for something. The mother of all yaks. Can she save us this turn? No, probably not. But so next turn, I think I'll drop this here. Over sky yak. He's not gonna be dumb though. He's probably he. Oh, he might go for face. Isn't just try to get as much damage in, but I don't know. We'll see. I probably should have played a little bit um, more conservatively with my yaks or mulliganed to get a uh, roaming yak in the starting hand, so I could have gotten closer to his face. No, stop bullying me. Hmm. Well, I have to do this. I can say it's not a good place to be in. Please. Why you lag today? Um 
think we're gonna do a plus one. I think this is lost. Please, no more dragons, sir. Oh. It's all right, it's all right. See, we still make progress. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Now let's see if we can do it this time. All right, what I was saying was how I'm going to do this question thing is, well, we're gonna start with the keyword of how and figure out a question answer. What are the best ways to lose weight? How can I lose weight quickly? Let's do that. I can do that. I can answer that. For sure I can answer that. All right, um, how can I lose weight quickly? Well, I have been able to lose weight um, mostly by just doing calorie deficit. I mean, I think that's probably the easiest, most straightforward way to lose weight is just do you burn off more calories than you consume? Um, and you know, you can kind of multiply how much calories you can burn by you know exercising but mostly it comes down to diet um, I think most uh, of the successful diet plans out there um, are ones that just somehow gamify the dieting process I think uh, is, it, is it Noom I think Noom is the newest one which kind of like color coats and kind of gives like points and point values to, you know, exercise and, um, you know, eating the right stuff. Um, and I think they've been really success successful at um, getting people to lose weight. But I think it mostly comes just down to diet. I think diet controls weight and I think exercise controls metabolism. All right, cool. I think we got a good answer and we can go Back to Faria. All right, we're gonna pitch everything. We're going hard, roaming yak. You didn't get it. All right. I think we're gonna go. To the side. Not the elemental. always have flying? I think it does. So what I think I'm gonna do is start prairieing up. Hmm, do I let him come? I think I'm gonna meet him. I'll drop the sapphire yak and just wait. So we definitely need a prairie there to start collecting. I think we st stop him. And we'll just 
stick a big beefy body right there. Alright, that's a big boy too. So we'll see. If he pushes him forward, he has an unfavorable trade. Um, if he leaves this open, I can pop up over here, which will be a good spot to park my yak boys. I think that's what we're going to do, though. <clears throat> so we're going to hop up. We're going to drop one of those down. And we're going to start to clog him up. Oh, I could have totally went Naruto and into him. All right, I think we block up his land here. Oh, perfect! They're activated. They're activated. Um, I think we kill him. We pop this boy over here, and the next turn he'll become a six-eight, and then we can really profit. Yaks are like the infestation. All the planes move further and further, and the yak population comes marching ever forward. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot my face. Is that it? Is that it? You gotta pre hit. Oh, you didn't pre hit. Now he's a 6 8 boy. Um. I think we deny the... Hmm. Ranged. Whenever this creature attacks a god, deal one damage to all enemy creatures. I could just drop this right, right there. That the move. Yeah, it is. Boom, boom. Drop that there. So he can either go for the favorable trade or kill this, I suppose. But it's not looking good for him, Doc. Alright, while we're waiting for his turn, is there any requests for the next keyword for the question in between the game time? No! He can move! Oh, alright, whatever. That's fine. Demon wing. Flatulence? All right, <laughs> totally, we're doing it, dude. <laughs> All right. So we're definitely taking this out, right? We're going... Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he could drop this boy down, and then he has to kill it. Be and the reason is because if he doesn't kill it, it becomes a 4-5 because of Sapphire Yak. So I think that, that might be the play. Um, do we draw? I think we draw. We draw. Mother of all Yaks, she's here. 
All right, um, we're going to pop this longhorned yak boy over here. And he can do his double jump, yada yada, double collect. But it doesn't stop the power of love. Look how cute they are. No. Mother of Yaks is getting more angry. All right, do it. All right, cool. So we'll get eight next turn. So he could just yak attack, which is actually pretty solid. Uh oh, what is that? All right. Hmm. All right. I think what we do is a yak attack. So we fire off one there. That becomes a 4-4. Four, four. We fire one here and one here. All right. I could take this down or I could just block him up and then mother of all yaks becomes cost eight. All right, what's it gonna be, boy? While in your deck or hand. All right, so he doesn't get any stronger than it is. Nine, seven is none. We can take on that. He miscalculated. Literally did he know that I was up to no good. Um, all right, what's it? Can be summoned next to friendly yaks. This is a yak. All right. I'm thinking of this play and I hope it works. All right, and pop that there because I want to take up the land. I'm going to stamp on this land. This could be summoned, ha ha, next to it. Yes, boom. He's an 8-4. Uh, we take out his boy over here. Mm, I think we kill it. We kill it, yes. We chill. We chill now. Yes. Now, release the mother. Yes. Not quite yet. We can we can get a little more value by doing emerald yak as well. Or war yak. I think just clog up more land. Um, I think we actually start actually convert. We convert here. Oh, we can't ah, collect feria. Ah. Uh, charge two. So if I put him here. Hmm. I, th 
think I put him here. I think I just start threatening his face. So we've tied him up. We're pivoting now. Next turn we have Yak Shepherd to drop these two boys flying into his face like Naruto runners. And that's plus two extra damage on each of their faces too. So. Yak Shepherd. Too bad that's he doesn't count as a yak. Uh oh. Another Firebringer. It's like, whatever. Don't matter. He's all the way over here. You're not blocking your face, bro. So... Do we get stronger? I think we do. Alright, so... <clears throat> hear me out. We hop here. He powers up. All right. Uh, I step here. And... Oh, do I drop the mother of all yaks, though? No, patience. Patience is a virtue. We are going to take up more land. Drop this boy, because we don't need Yak Shepherd just yet. Yeah, we don't. I'm gonna drop him here. Take extra damage. Smack face. What's he gonna do? F fly that across the field? He might. Honestly, he might have uh, the silent horse master, in which case I'll be sorry. Oh, yep, yep. That's that's the card I was talking about. He's just gonna straight face. But little does know I have mother of all yaks. Or Yak Shepherd. That could also end the game. We'll see. Well. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> How do I do a lot of damage, boys? Um, I think I have to mother of all yaks. And I think it's gonna be the biggest cock block I've got. Because we do it. Okay, so for sure this goes in. This goes in, take that to face. This costs less, right? Um, we drop it. Take up his land. Ha ha. And we walk up to his face and we smack it. Oh, he gets even stronger too. That's right. Um... We hop here and we add the ferias. All right. So now he can't. He just can't touch these any of my creatures, or otherwise he gets damage from Rubiac. So, <laughs> divorce. <laughs>
Let me do my unique. Oh. No! My only weakness! I should have put I should have put the sapphire yak back. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. I thought we had it. <laughs> All right. Flatulence, that's the word, right? All right, we're going to go in. Flatulence. Flatch. All right, here we go. <laughs> How does one cure flatulence? Can I fart? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got to do it. Uh, can a fart transmit co coronavirus? <laughs> I'm going to say no, dog. Because uh, once it goes airborne, um, it dissipates. However, I'm not a um, medical expert by any means, but that's how I'd answer that. That a fart cannot transmit coronavirus. <laughs> um, let's see what other people say. I know this is a joke question, but the answer is potentially yes. <laughs> say the jury's still out. Yeah, that's where kind of where I'm at, right? Just not a medical expert at all, but... Um, I don't, I just don't think you could. Because the virus predominantly resides, what, in the lungs? Um, so potentially, but I, don't, I really don't see... Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't, I think it would not live down there. So completely scientifically based, <laughs> obviously. Um... Let's see. Oh, we're in. All right. All right. Jade Weasel. Cool, we got our rumming yak, so we got off to a good start. Um... We're gonna drop these boys. Cool, cool. We're gonna go super ham to his face. If we go second, we can just go boop, 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 boop all the way to his face. It'd be so funny. Please let me do it. Oh, yes. No. Oh. Alright, alright. Come on. So we go bop bop. Bop. Uh, don't dash. Dropped him. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's too bad. But we can hop onto his land. All right, <laughs> any new keywords now that you know that the consequences of <laughs> your your actions last time? Cracker Jack, okay, let's see what we get there. I could go for some good kettle corn right now though. No, dude, not Ligma. <laughs> hmm. Let me think. We could... Just pop. 
force down here. Just uh, pop this guy here, I guess. Um, get him out of range. So now all he has to shoot is that. There we go. Kettle corn sounds fantastic. Yeah, for sure, dude. Uh, in the farmer's market, um, they had some really good uh, kettle corn. Though the bottom gets a little too, too sugary, I think. But a majority of it's really good, just got to say. If I can get a new microwave, um, we have a microwavable uh, popcorn maker. Um, be cool to make it my own popcorn. Okay, he's killing the yaks. We're gonna do about that. Oh no, he's a sniper. Oh, he shot him. Drop the big boy down. Maybe drop the little boy down. Oh, but you could just go bop bop. Yeah. I think he loses either way. Got boy. Okay, so this is what I thought he was going to do. He's going to step over, kill that. I think he's going to jump and kill that. I wouldn't have done that if I was him. I would have collected, honestly. Take, taking two damage is whatever. Ugh, Iona's smile is so OP. Mm, we have Yag attack. I think we're gonna just start stepping up. Um, I think we do the land block. We go. Hiya. We go for the versatile play where we can. Uh, if he stays there, he's screwed. Or do I go back here? I think I threaten face. Yeah, because worst case he can move and then he can't attack. Not like he could really shoot anything. Yeah, he can't really shoot anything, so it's not a really good angle for him. So he could just double collect, I think. That's fine. He can double collect. Whatever. So the war yak is the one that doesn't quite look like a yak. It's like almost looks like a slug, you know? Like, this looks like a yak. These sort of look like yaks. That, not a yak. 
Oh, jeez, he has all these movement tricks. This is one of the best cards in the game, the Windborn Champion. Yellow is so cool. Yellow flying ranged. I dig it. I dig it, I dig it. Um, I smack face. I don't know, boys. No, okay. I think he's got this. I think it's my deck, dude. I don't think it's, uh... I think I need to, like, go back to the drawing board with this, um, yak deck. I think it might just be missing events. I think I have a lot of yaks, but no events. I could lean heavily into the blue and then have Aurora's cre like uh, creation so that you can duplicate uh, the mother of all yaks multiple times, which would be awesome. Where is there? Is there a safe place anymore? I don't think so. Honestly, this might be the safest spot. So now he has to kill it. Or this, because this was going to get buffed as well, so. Ugh, oh, what a lucky draw. No, they can move. He can fly. Ooh, wow, that's cool. Stop, you're hurting me. I'm sure I see wouldn't put it here. Can't stop it, this attack. Stop! <laughs> no more! No more! Ugh. Oh wow, so creative to kill me. <laughs> I thought he, was, he wants to do ex direct damage. Oh, okay. Well, I'm level 99 after that beating. We got our lore page. And now we can, um... I know, that was pretty, uh, slick. Alright. I'm kind of done with playing with the Yaks for a little bit. Um... Is there a deck that you'd like to see? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Then BR bargain it is, dude. Alright. Oh, oh. What am I... I'm so sorry. I need to go show the deck list. I've been very bad at doing this. This deck list is too long for my little snippet thing, so... 
I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. No, it's not what I wanted. Stop. Uh oh, what did I just take out of my deck? Can I not save? Aren't applied to, yes, I want to discard those changes, all right. Okay. Um, I think we'll just do our best. And then is there a way to stitch? Nope. Um, let's see. Nope. That's not it either. Hmm. Well, until I get better at this, this is this is what you get. You get you get a deck list. It's right there. Cool. Um, let's actually scoot that up a little bit. There we go. All right. Playing BR Bargain. Um, all right, we're doing Cracker Jack, right? That's that's the. Um, what the the keyword uh, all right cracker jack all right um, cracker jacks still sold in grocery stores yes they are what were the best cracker jack prizes of all time I think I got like a baseball card once um, but I think most of the time, the Cracker Jack prizes, at least as I, as I was growing up, were pretty awful. Um, do you have any, did any of you remember like getting any good Cracker Jack prizes? I don't see anything here. Yeah, I don't see anything. That's unfortunate. What up, Cracker Jack? Cracker Jack clothes. I don't even know what that, those are. Cracker Jack snacks. I think, I mean, isn't Cracker Jack snacks just uh, trail mix with popcorn? <laughs> yeah, the co I got the comic jokes too. Yeah, for sure. All right, we got Dreamkeeper and Crystal Spice, which are uh, key to our little combo. So we're gonna play very, very uh, conservatively and then let him come to us and then we're going to dominate with combat. Oh shoot, it's my turn. Um, that's embarrassing. So I think actually I'm gonna go um, double blue, so I can get Spring Mochi on the board. Um, that way we can get extra discounts. In a sense, we need to wait for three uh, land cost anyway. So it looks like he is playing Hand Buff, which is actually a deck I want to try out as well. Um, we're going to go double blue on both sides, and we're going to drop Spring Mochi on this side. Next turn we can Crystal Spice, which will add more cards to our hand. Um, but I think we might wait another turn to drop the Dream Keeper to get more cards into the shuffle. Alright. Um, we are going to drop our red here so we can step across and get more Feria. We're going to Crystal Spice. Um, looks like Storm Spawn because it plays into the the Barbarian Ogre is a solid body. We're going to go Feria. Um, this one 
this will get us more cards. More cards are, are always awesome, so we're going to do that. Mm. Do we spring mochi as well? I think we do. And I think we might Magda as our adding cards to our hand. Because he's... He, otherwise, he might just waste a last breath on Magda, which will be actually really awesome. Oh, great. So we have more ways to add cards to our hand. Um, so what we are going to do is start developing our reds as well. Get a lot of Feria. Um, we gonna Magda? I think we Magda. We Magda. Welcome to the Crystal Spice course. too, though. Oh, meteors. Always awesome. Uh, Bold Bargainer, I think, is always the better value. All right. So he either wastes six Feria and his his last uh, breath on the four cost. Oh, that's a big boy. So he's not going to do it. All right, so we'll just chill out and wait for the Meteor then. A two cost gem shell tortoise. That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to actually... Pull this back. Oh, we need more land though. Shoot. It's fine. We will pivot. We will pivot. So we're gonna start. Um. Or wait, what are we? What are we worrying about? We just drop the land here. Next turn, we definitely get. Uh. Twelve, and we just nuke him. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, we'll do that. <laughs> Alright, question, question. Favorite snack to pull out on a date night? got to be the Oreos or the Ritz crackers for me. He's just sacrificing all his dudes, dude. Please put more stuff down. Please. Oh, yes. Yes. No, come on. Do more more shenanigans. None. No more shenanigans. Dude, why not? Why why not more shenanigans? So you want to see someone? Um, popcorn is true. Yeah. Okay. That's that's that was that was the obvious choice. Do do we do we do shenanigans and do the long burn, or do we end the game like World War Two style, like right now? Okay. All right. All right. I'm 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 not messing around anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. That's how you end wars right there. Oh, we're gonna run out of space in our hand pretty soon. <laughs> Dude, if he plays it out, I will give him mad props. Alright, he's still trying to do the hand buff thing. I Respect it. Ah, uh, okay. So we dream keeper now, I think. Um I think we just double neutral up here. Drain one life from everything. That'd be so funny. I think I think we drop it actually. And we have a super buff dude. Bow 
to me. We haven't even used Krog yet. Isn't that crazy? We haven't had we haven't had like a whiff of Krog in this deck. We're just doing some random shenanigans from elsewhere and using Magda. Okay. Oh, so there's Krog right there. Um, I think we dropped the Dreamkeeper. Uh, do we red again? I think we do. We drop the Dreamkeeper up here. Get our draw engine going learn that you can play nothing everything will be mine make him get super strong oh he's getting so powerful so powerful Dude, this guy's playing out. Gotta give him mad respect. That meteor that I had was just nasty, though. This is such a good card. Oh, he did put up a good wall, though. Um, I just could Garadin. Or it could make things interesting. Um, I think we hit in here. I think it is too obvious of a Garadin to not do it. Um, I think we pop another red here, drop the Garadin. So next turn you can drop Soul Eaters, I suppose. Okay. Well, that's a big boy. Um, that's okay. You know what, mad props. Honestly, this guy stuck it out. I'm gonna go for interesting. I have like stopped getting any value from Magda now. It's kind of funny. Yeah, oh, all right. Well, we did it. First win of the day. All right. Let's see if we can get two more wins. That will be the goal. We still do be doing BR bargain, I think. All right. Keywords. Otherwise, I'll think of something else. All right. Let me get this set up. Let's do stickers. Why do people put those baby on board signs on their vehicles? Oh, we're okay. I'll answer this while I play. We're already back in. 
Baby on board on stickers. Honestly, I don't understand it. Like, I, it never encouraged me to be like, oh, I'm gonna drive safer on this. Like, I'm just gonna drive safer for me. Like, I, I'm not, I'm, I, I, I don't have any intention to ram, you know, another car. This is baby on board because, yeah, it never made much sense to me, honestly. Uh, we're gonna chill out. We're gonna go slow again. <laughs> oh, maybe we can't go slow anymore. Unless we get a meteor. I mean, that is... That is the exception. We do have Krog, cool. Oh, we already drew Krog. Awesome. Well then. Uh, we're going to Crystal Spice for sure. Um, Ogre Battler, fine. Windfall, fine. Um, this is enough for a a spin. Okay, we got Crystal Spice again. I think we'll chill. Hopefully he's gonna steal my crystal spice, or he could steal my explorer too. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> he did. Spring Mochi. And Magda. Magda is going to stay right over here. Welcome to my court. Yeah, I'll crystal spice too. See what I can get. Gold bargainer is always good. Uh, I guess we can just do more bold bargainers. And then next turn we can double collect. And then gather legendaries. Oh, well, this is awesome. <laughs> Chaos is also really good too. Um this I can double collect um, let me think uh, I drop this and I essentially guarantee I can play another card I think I do I drop here oh the chain begins The chain begins. Oh, 
Oh, wow. And next turn we get 12 Ferio just because, randomly. It's a lot of Feria. See what he can do. So he's holding something back. Oh, cool. Um, so I think we start developing our. Reds. Alright, uh, let's see what legendary we get. It's free. Whatever. Okay. I can go for Krog. That's fine. Um, I just want a lot of Feria now, just for two. Um, Could just drop. I think. Is it worth it? Does two threatens that guy? I think I do. Get, I think I do that. That way, deny him the fairy collection back there. Just chill with that. He's gonna steal my explore. <laughs> oh no. Hopefully he doesn't get a meteor. That'd be really bad. Like catastrophic bad. Drop something with a ranged ability there, maybe. Oh, there it is. At least it's not a meteor. There's no meteor, so crisis sort of averted. Perfect. So unless he starts pulling a bunch of stuff, okay, he's gonna do a little bit of crap. All right, that's fine. You may teleport him to a friendly forest if you do gain plus one plus one, whatever. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. So we need to put down a land for sure, but it needs to be a What does this do? After this attacks, it gains plus one, zero. Okay, that's fine. So we're definitely putting this up. Do we put this down and then, um... Doesn't even matter which order I put them in. Like it does. I 
think I put him down here. Seven. Put chaos up there. I think I do that. Bow to me. So he has to answer it now. And these guys will defend me. And he can't, you know, target and kill it, so. So this almost guarantees uh, at least a body block. Okay, he's gonna. Okay. Is he gonna? Is he gonna OTK me? Let's see. Yep. Well played. to yellow treasure control I think I'm gonna do dream treasures I like I like that one all right now back to Quora oh right, let me do Changing the deck list. I'm gonna remember this time. We're doing the dream treasures. There we go. Let's do what? What? We did. Our, we saw. What are the best ways? What is digital marketing? Did a little bit of digital marketing. Um, at the time, it was a uh, search engine optimization was kind of the big thing. Um, and um, back then, uh, right before, before the whole Cambridge uh, Analytica um, kind of debacle with Facebook, you used to be able to target like some scary accurate uh, information about people. Like, you know, only target people who go to this high school or go to this college and study in this major during these years. Like you could get really finite and, you know, to think that that's the stuff that they got caught with, you know? Um, it's kind of weird to think, what don't we know about what, and it's only, got, it's, I can only imagine it's only gotten better since then, you know? So. Um, what is the keto diet? As well as I know is that you wanna put your body in ket ketosis um, and in order to do that, you have to essentially train your body to not have any like sugar and essentially, is it processed foods? Um, and then train it to only seek out fat. So you eat a lot of fat, oils, meat, uh, it makes me feel sweaty just thinking about it, but apparently it works. And if it works for other people, then. Who am I to judge, you know? Um, weight loss. 
easiest way to make money online? I think right now, um, uh, easiest way to make money would be to... I guess it depends how much money you're talking about. If you just want to ensure that your money is not depleting, then I think putting it into some type of stocks, right? Um, and especially right now, because everything is just... Prices are... The dollar is getting worth less and less, so... Um, <laughs> go easy, please. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend, but you've come to the wrong place for that. Okay, I have a lot of ways to fill up my hand, but nothing to... Um, I don't have my cycling engine yet, which is what we need. Hmm, hand buff? Or maybe a neutral rush. Could be a neutral rush. Uh, we'll start developing. Uh, we'll do a blue. We'll go blue first. Uh, uh, we don't need the explorer per se, so we'll do it so we can get our Imperial Guard down. And we can get a collector for some Feria early on. So it seems like he's going to be a neutral rush, but he's going to go a little bit sideways to give him some time. Ooh, a 4-5 with protection. That's pretty pretty nasty. We got our um, draw engine, though, which is awesome. Um, I think we go in. So we're waiting till next turn to do it. Um, so we'll just get our Feria spell, spell Whirl get some more cards and then next turn we're gonna drop our red go crystal spice and then we'll just go hard defense and then hopefully fend him off so at least we got rid of his uh... yeah so he's neutral rush Ooh, so we do have ways to add treasures into our deck now which is great we're going to put our red here we will crystal spice first. Meteor, I mean, duh. Um, Doomsday? No, Apex Predator. Apex Predator for sure. Okay, we're gonna just draw because it's just gonna throw treasures into our deck. Perfect. Um, and I think we just block them up now, so. Perfect. So next turn we can add more cards to our hands and shuffle. So this one we go to throw in anyway. Cool. Mm. Okay. So he's running out of steam now, but we are getting into the danger zone. Mm. <sighs> Let's see. I think we keep the treasure map. Nah, I think we keep it in hand. So we plus one. We for sure do this to add more cards to our hand. And we drop down the dream keeper again i think all right we're drawing all right we have one more dream keeper so essentially we're just doing this over and over again until we can f hit um our gagana bird to also um help us add more treasures to our deck.
But it's getting a little cozy over here, I have to say. So I could make a 4 4 guaranteed. Or I can draw one. Oh, okay. Um, do we go for it? I think we. I think we treasure map. Treasure map. Okay, we play. Cause I think we have to bank on have our uh, treasures at this point. So I think we drop again. Okay, and we open the treasure. Um, I think <laughs> Key of Giants, maybe? We just don't have enough fairy. This guy's rushing us too hard. He's a Russian. Hello, welcome into the chat. We are playing Feria. We are not winning, but we are playing Feria and we are having fun. So I think that is a win. This guy says to go easy, please. And I'm, I'm just, honestly, I'm just giving him the best time of his life. Just letting him win. Um, all right. We don't have anything. Yeah, I think this is GG, boys. Uh, well, no. Oof. I think that, that marks it. Oh, this would've been awesome to have. Or this. I'll let him kill me in case he has uh, any quest logs that he hasn't filled out himself. Hit me! Hit me! There we go. It's okay. Alright. We had the dream of the treasures, but I think what things are telling me is that we should be more eco-friendly here. Um, let me grab that deck list so I can work on my delivery of said stream. Aha! Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to go into the battle. So this is a tempo build deck. Um, essentially, you are just building up land until trying to get out a giant tree, and then the tree buffs your hand, and then you win. Okay. All right. What keyword should we do now? Let's talk about snow. I haven't been in the snow in years. Um, seems kind of weird because I used to go see the snow often. Oh, I mean, it's so long past, but is Jon Snow really dead? Well, he lives on in our hearts forever. Um, best company for SEO services. I don't know. Um, haven't had to use it. Mm. Why does snow appear white in color while water is transparent and colorless? I think it has to do with the refractions, kind of like how the water of the ocean is blue. I think it's just what light gets reflected from the surface of whatever the um, object is. And in this case, it'd be snow. Jon Snow, Jon Snow, Jon Snow, Jon Snow. Does it snow in Australia? I think it does. I think it actually 
snows in the outback, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, okay. I before I am, you know, I I all I will fact check myself. Does it snow in the outback? I'm I'm questioning my own uh, question. No, the Subaru Outback for sure. Yes, haha! -ha, I knew it. I I did, was not. I was not making stuff up. All right. All this stuff about Jon Snow. All right, I'm I'm done with that. Um. Should we do politics ones? Oh, okay, I guess not. Not That's my sign not to. We're going back in. All these other hooded fellows, but my guy has the blue eyes. Um, none of these. We want to go for the elementals. Perfect, we have the water elemental. Do a blue, do that. Nice basic blue jump play. <clears throat> wisdom. He has the wisdom to draw more cards. Essentially, Pot of Greed. <laughs> Ooh, I remember playing this card, thinking it was so cool. It's still cool. I hope I'm not kidding. We're gonna hop over here, get some Faria Collection. Um, and I think we start playing our green cards. That way we can pop down a blue, a green or a blue here, depending on what I get, and then I could ninja toad on t and hit his face. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I get a double collection here regardless. Ooh, the octopus, one of the coolest cards in this game, where you get to choose one twice, and you can essentially morph the octopus to meet your needs. Um, I think, however, we shall continue pushing our green. I'm going to hop this boy up here, hop the octopus down here. I think I'm going to give him health and jump so he can chase down these boys. Worst case, I can also double neutral and collect over here. Alright, let's see if he goes back to attack it. Oh wow, he spent four Faria for that. Alright, that's okay, that's an even trade. Alright, so I'll just collect some Faria now. Mm. So what we can do is we need more green. And this will unlock more blue. Pop in this corner. Um, and I can living willow. Do I? I think I chill. I chill. We don't need to play all our cards all at once. We can we can sit back and relax. It's 
want to say thanks for watching the stream. Hope you're having a good time, because I know I am. Uh-oh. We might have to deal with that pretty soon. Well, I guess we could just frog toss her at two. That doesn't seem as climactic, though. there. The frog tosser. Snipe this boy. Grab the fairy up over here. Call it a day. Hello, welcome into the chat. We're playing green blue jump. Um, with a tree that will buff our hands. Essentially, it's our win condition at the end. Um, we'll see if we can pull it off. <clears throat> we might uh, win this bef without the need of that. Feed the forest, just what we needed. So we can get extra feria using Living Willow. You can see the seven health, which gets us seven feria. Costing us four, netting us three, right? Mm. I think I take this guy out. That's fine. I can take him out here. I can push him up here. That's fine. And the next turn, I can feed him to the forest, which is kind of morbid. But then we will get extra feria and a new card to draw. So many Imperial Guards. You can't stop the green-blue madness. We have this Moby to now swallow creatures, so if we can um, remove any obstacles, if there are any. I'll push another green this way, I suppose. Double collect here. Yum. Perfect. Wood elemental. More land all over the board. My land. All right, so you can see the conundrum he's in. He has no cards on the board. I have ca cards on the board. He has no Feria, a lot of cards in hand. I have few car fewer cards in hand, but a lot of Feria. I can just plus one. Ah, oh, feed this. Draw. Oh wow, that's a lot of Ninja Toads. I can go full Naruto on this boy. Um. Question is, do I? Could hop back, get some Feria. Oh. Well, I have no no way to get up there though. Next turn, we go Naruto, I think. Yeah, we'll we'll do it next turn. Okay, we can do Fagoro, which will be fun. 
We have a lot of Feria. Um, yeah, we'll play him. Uh, we can either turn everything into the same thing. I think we do this, which allows us to draw a card and get Feria, which is super broken. Ooh, Frog Tosser. Um, I think we hop up over here. We can Frog Tosser him. Now do we Naruto? I think we do. Just because it'll be cool. Naruto! Jump over here! Attack! Jump! The ninjas! Go! <laughs> I don't think we hold back. chill out block up his land not at all the ninja toads I just want the tree can I play the tree no okay Oh, we're so close to getting to level 100. We have one more win to make, too. Are we doing it again with the green-blue tree? I think we are. Alright. Let's see. What new thing can we... Politics? <laughs> Are we opening that cannon worms? I think so. We can do it. Oh, never mind. It knew. It knew, man. I can't. I can't touch <laughs> politics. All right. But you know what? I'll take it. Lower wait times. Uh, this is actually a really solid hand. I think we play it. And I think we should. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll work with this. Perfect. So we can run that same line again. Alright. So he's going to go for center. Uh, I don't think we're going to race him, though. I think we're going to just go up to the side. I love this line. Next turn we can collect and then use the Shifting Octopus to defend our face. And we'll do the same tactic as last time. Route him into the killing funnel right here. So we put down here and we can put our jumping octopus right here okay Let's see what he's got There's a 5-4, that's fine. Alright. I ain't messing with that anymore. Um, I 
think I'm just gonna start hopping onto his <laughs> land and just block him up. He's invested a lot here, so I just don't give it to him. And now I can hop up to his face and put a land up there. Hello, welcome into the chat. We've been playing Feria, and in the loading screens, we've been answering Quora questions. It's been a whole lot of fun. I think the best keyword was flatulence, so if anyone has any other keywords they want to use, um, just throw that in the chat. All right, <clears throat> this boy is letting us jump up to his face. Um, is that the move, though? That is the question. Mm. I think it is. Um, and how about we just hop Ninja Toe down. Let's go, Naruto run. He can collect his Feria. I will just continue to chip away at his face. So he's gonna have to answer this somehow, which means he'll have to devote at least some resources back here. Otherwise, he's not. Okay, he's he's gonna lose the face race. I don't know if he's recognized that, especially when you have two Naruto's attack. <laughs> And we did it. Just like that, we are now level 100, defeated a stronger opponent, and we got our third victory. That was pretty good. Let's see if we have any chests. Oh, we do have chests, cool. So, what we can do is pop these open. We get our 600, 600. 600. All right. And now, since we're level 100, we can celebrate by buying a mythic chest. All right. We're going to buy one. And we can open that now. What do we get? I'm due for something. Something. No, okay. That's not what I want. It's okay. Please. Nah. Okay. Well, one of these days we'll get it. All right. So we're doing pretty well with the uh, green blue tree. Should we try another deck though? Um, let's do dream fairies. All right. Any keywords for the Quora? Otherwise, I'm going to just maybe I should get a randomizer, a word randomizer, randomizer. All right. Flawed. All right, we got the word flawed is our word. Okay, so did I have a popping? Okay, popping, we'll do popping then. Oh, man, it knows. Okay, but I'll, I'll have that in the back of my mind. Ooh, rematch with Jade Weasel. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves here. Um, I don't like any of this. We're trying to look for our fairies. Ooh, we got our fairies and our dream keeper, so we are in business. So with this, this is a deck that I built. Um, I really like the fairies because they look really like cute and weeny. Uh, and I was like, well, if you every time you draw an event you get all this buff and it costs only two. Um, so I was trying to figure out a way to make that work. And I thought, well, I could do blue red and then have ways to do direct burn and also draw cards. So Dreamkeeper, I also like Dreamkeeper because it also looks kind of derpy, kind of looks the same artwork. 
might be the same artist. Maybe that's it. Ooh, I can draw. Okay. So let's pop this here. I'm going to put my fairy on this side, and I'm going to draw. Ooh, we hit it. All right. Um, we'll draw. Uh, we'll, we'll hold the draws in case we get another fairy, right? All right. I'm going to start looking for what popping will give, give us. Man, a lot of new players. I am very pleased to see a lot of new players on here. This is pretty cool. And new viewers. So thank you for watching. It's been awesome to have you. Okay. Oh, if only I had one more red. It's all right. We'll work our way towards that. Um... I think we'll just wait. So next time, what I gotta remember is if with these fairies to put one in the center, because if it gets the charge two, you can do one, two, and you can do a d the double collect. I didn't do that, so I am now, I mean, it's not, it's not a biggest loss of opportunity, but you know, I would be so much further ahead otherwise. Oh, I don't like that. If I only had two Cypher's Wraths, I need two now. This is not good. I could humbling it as well. This is a pretty cool deck, honestly. It's a... Um, a red-yellow uh, ranged flying, I guess. Okay, let's see. So we're playing a red for sure, I think. All right. I think we message in a bottle now. Okay. Do we stop the double collection? Okay, I think we do this. We shoot this. And we humbling this away. All right, so we'll get our double collect here. What you got, boy? Uh oh, we can fly. Uh oh, he's gonna go Super Saiyan. Oh, this is a cool deck. I have to admit, this is such a cool deck. Hmm. Holy crap, I can fly across the field. Um, I mean, I don't like it, but it might be the play I have to make where I do this. Eesh. I mean, I'll take it, but... There's a lot of Faria, three cards, a lot of land lumped up over there. I just, I'm just a boy with some fairies and a dream. Okay, he's thinking, I like it. He's got his own fairies. 
Fairies are underrated, man. I love my little fairies. Interesting. What's it gonna move though? Move my guy back? Okay, I don't, thanks, I can now collect here. Spice. Uh, well, windfall, I suppose. Bold bargainer. Let us draw. Let's draw this way too. Um, we can treasure that. Cool. Um, more crystal spice now and see what we get. Definitely throw out shuffling a meteor into our deck. Uh, I guess this is pretty good, especially with him. Nah, yeah, Colossus. Um, so that's his range. I think we just chill. Oh, geez. Okay, I mean, I guess he could trade fairy to fairy. I thought of this deck. Dang. I'm just one fairy a short, which is very sad. turn this into a 4-2, which is pretty good. Alright, um, I think I pop this guy up here, right here, I think. Yep. So I'm gonna do two things, drop this boy down, drop this down, guarantee the draw for this, yes. giving it to oh just draw cards for free so op man is he gonna contest my fairy okay i'll take it It's 
rein. Let's see if we can outvalue him. By the way, this is why you always put a red if you have flamesick fairies, because if you get the 4 you can just shoot at the face over and over again. Always really good. Um, okay, just free blue cards. Um, we gotta draw. Um, this is would be awesome, but it would have been awesome a while ago, because now he's out of range. Uh, I think I put Figoro down. Do I do Ulani's medallion? And then save up and make everything a Therian globe eventually. I don't think I don't think I have the fairy for that. I think I just the sky is only the draw. Beginning. Oh, the perfect! Just what I needed to draw. Thank God. All right, I can just flame burst this away. Yes. Good, he didn't draw a spell or an event. Oh shoot, he drew the event. <laughs> it's fine. See if I put it here. I could put it here. Then I can start contesting these boys. I think that's what I do. And if he doesn't, then I can sh shoot straight to her face. So <laughs> we'll see what he does. Theory and globe. Pretty dangerous. He might. Just go for face. I think that might be his. So I can either create. I can. I can play Kagana's Treasure Seeker. Yeah, that's what I thought he'd do. That's fine. So he, I guess he doesn't see the line that I can go straight for his face here. Well, let's see if he puts anything here. No! He saw! Yes, he's even stronger than me! <laughs> Dang. Alright. Alright. This is a cool deck, dude. Honestly. It's so cool. It's got a Death Star right here. Um... Treasures, please. Cool. Ugh, man. Next turn I can play these other fairies. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see what we can do. I don't need to play these treasure maps just yet. Oh, 
Wow. Doesn't have a. I mean, he has Iona's smile, though, so I guess that's one way to. Yeah, it's just a bunch of ways. A bunch of ranged creatures. Dang it. I needed this. That would have, like, literally saved me. Um. I think we lose, because... Alright, let's see if we can pull out some treasures. Pull treasures? not beaten his this red yellow death star build yet <laughs> but it's a really cool deck for sure dang what a cool deck <laughs> all right hmm can do dream treasures all right this might be my last game but uh, we'll do popping as our keyword so popping uh, is there any k-pop idol that you hate I uh, don't follow k-pop 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 dude I don't think this is the popping you were intending <laughs> K-pop. K-pop. Nope. This is all K-pop, dude. Uh... Nope. It's just K-pop. Okay, we're gonna type it pol politics. Let's see. Oh, it's letting me go through. Okay. Alright. Okay, what is an example of a time someone took political correctness too far? Hmm. Political correctness too far. I think... We should be allowed to say what we want, right? And I think that that's where it comes down to it. Right? You don't. Even if someone has offends you, right? Like they should be able to offend you, and you should be able to feel that. I think that's kind of where I'm at. Like, not to say that words can't hurt, because you know I I think we've all know that words can definitely hurt you. Um, I don't know. It's like at some point, you know, come when I've heard my parents coming to the states, like they went through a lot of stuff, right? And um, not to say that it wasn't hard. It's just that I don't know. They it's like they had they came from like a different cut cut of cloth. I think. You know, they were, I don't know, they were just so much more driven. I don't, I don't have the drive that they do, for sure. Um, but I've seen, you know, like, what, like, I think the whole, uh, what's it called? Hold on, let me focus on this. The... What is it when you steal someone else's culture? It's like, I think that there's... 
I think there was a period of time where that got a little out of hand. Like, there are people who genuinely appreciate other people's culture. Um, and I was like, I haven't, I would never take offense if someone was to wear, you know, Vietnamese garb. Um, I think that maybe there was a time where I was, and I think that was only because I was told that that was, that was supposed to be offensive. And I think after that, I kind of gave that up, you know, but... Alright, so what we're doing right now is charging up for this massive Gagana Seeker. So what we got, we're going to do is just gather our um, uh, cards in our hand and gather the fairy on the ford. Uh, we're going to get Windfall. Um, Yag Attack is good, but Hellfire is also a game ender. We might do that. Um, next turn we'll get four Feria, or five Feria. So I think we'll wait, just in case he has something up his sleeve. I don't think he does, but... And of course, I didn't get the deck list to be right either, so... Bye-bye, deck list. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> this is the fastest I've been able to play games. I've been like... Chugging out games left and right. This is awesome. Now we should uh, threaten to talk about politics more often. <laughs> uh, we're going to go red. Gather that Feria. We could Hellfire. We could also Crystal Spice. We want that Meteor. Do we want two Meteors? I think so. Um... Do we go for the greedy play and get one extra card, or do we drop it now? I think we drop it now. Boom. Alright, so now we can have our Roar Disciple next turn and start pumping it out with the treasure maps. Oh, it's glitched out. It says I can move this card, but I can't. <laughs> All right. So we just have to defend against the rush and... We'll be okay. Just gonna drop some Imperial Guards down, that's fine. We can contest that. No problem. So, what we'll do is let's start attacking that. I think what we're going to do is drop a blue right here in the middle. And we're just gonna walk our boy right up the line. Let's draw draw some more and we'll leave it at that and in two turns if we decide to pass next turn because we have a lot of pres board presence we could meteor which will be pretty detrimental Ooh, interesting. Why would you put that up there? I don't know. I could rain a fish on him, which would be pretty funny, too. Um... I think we blew... Here. Um, I think we rain a fish. Or uh, we wait to rain a fish next turn, I think. I think we can kill 
this with this and hop onto his land and then we chill out. Because next turn we can Meteor, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> Meteor is funny because you can choose a space, destroy all creatures, structures, and lands on or adjacent to that space. So you can just nuke a seven grid area, which is what we might do to get rid of this. I think we can say that this poor guy is a goner and meteor at the zone. I'm sorry. We tried our best. Another two turns, we can meteor him again over there. <laughs> or we can also rain a fish, which could possibly kill his dudes over here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Um, we're gonna spring Mochi here. The spell whirl. Um, I think we develop our reds now. So I think what we're gonna do is hop red here uh, we pull him forward I think hop him into range here Adj so adjacent friendly beast gain plus two plus okay that's fine um, I think we put our gem silk fury here we wait so we're taunting him up so he can't move. No, so he found a way out, that's fine. Okay. I don't know what the mistake was, but... But now he has a bunch of one health stuff, so I can do the Reign of Fish, which might turn the tide. Could also old fashioned kill this too. I mean, there's that too. Okay. Play the two toads. I think I do. I think, um, I develop.
Alright, it's gonna be a long game, I think, but it'll be fun. We can slowly eat this one out. That's fine. It's passing over to us, which is great. Actually, not great. We needed... to be... We needed the land. We needed the Faria. That's alright. We pivot. Um... Do we dump and hope for the best? Okay, we hope for the best. <laughs> All right, get another card. Uh, yellow creature, green creature, blue creature, red creature, red creature. Frog, oh no. Flame Silk Fairy. Do we do that just because it costs nothing? Just put that there. Now there's a lot of things for him to deal with, and if he tries to come close to this guy, he gets taunted up, so. Man, some good matches tonight. I am quite pleased. I also need to spend a session to get to um, Legacy's Allure, and then. Um, do some deck building or kingdom building should I say Okay, lots of taunts, that's fine. All right, so we have our 4-2, we can draw, we can really draw. Yeah, I think we just clog him up. Hopefully we draw perfect. We drew a treasure map. Uh, Therian globe is pretty good. There we go. Now we can destroy this. Which means we can now go over here, get rid of his little f person. Um, I think we plus one for theory and glow at this point. We put it right here. Shoot your boy over here. And we wait. So next turn we guarantee, it, or at least we have set ourselves up to at least start going towards face or pivot back to here if, if we get into trouble, but I don't think we will. And now he has to decide what to do with this guy because I'm going to keep shooting his collectors over here. So it's looking pretty good for us, I'd say. this Okay. 
Okay, we put all the guards down, and that's fine. All right. Uh, do we plus one? Plus one, hold the line. Dreamkeeper. Yep. Awesome, we got some treasure maps. Kill this? Yeah, I think we do. So I'll probably crash into this, then that's fine. When an adjacent friendly creature dies, this gains death, touch, and jump. Ooh. That might be pretty good too. All right, got rid of his card. So now we have advantage and card number advantage. So if we can get rid of his card, the next few cards, then we'll be, here. I think the tempo will be on our side. So I'm gonna start doing is moving um, the flame cell fairy here so I can start shooting towards his face. And I'll start moving this guy up. Um, I think I'll move him up. All right. Uh, I think I Aurora's Disciple this time. This will be a defensive one where I hold the line. I think I just block up here now. All right, so we're setting ourselves up. I need to get this guy into this slot and I can start shooting towards face. It's fine. Huge taunt. So all I'll do is start camping up on this half. Um, grab. Some post up here. Uh, let's see. We definitely need, well, we'll see what we need. We'll put the Dream Keeper here. Perfect. Rotate. Okay, and now we can start buffing our other guy. So. Drop that. More power. And I think we throw more power. Mm. All right. Get your Feria. Hop back. Um, I think I just. Block, block things up over here. It's not just a game of attrition. I mean, I have a lot more cards. He has good buffs that are built in, but now I have 
my sniper to start shooting. Pew, pew. I also hold most of the Feria Wells. Okay. I'll say well played on that one for sure. Instead of a Luduan. <laughs> hmm. So I could bring him back. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So pop him back. Say goodbye to Runin. Hop over here, start getting ready for pickup. Um Lude one. Play super defensive. Get ready for collection up there. Step here. All right. I think, or, I think this is, uh, the tide has definitely shifted to our side. Meteor! Oh wow, he got a free gem cell fairy. I'll take it. One, one, and jump. I think it would be awesome if he had jump. Yeah. Jump up there. Mm, Windstorm Colossus, pretty good. Gem Shell Tortoise, pretty good. What really matters is that these guys are getting buffed. All right, it's the beginning of the end. Okay, that Runin. Nature never dies. Okay, Bloom Sprite. Oh, I got a free Reign of Fish. Um, I could copy the Runin, which would be funny. Does it become, but I don't, I don't have, I'm not grass, so. Um. Well, I have to say, well played. That was not the card that I thought I could played. Uh, I th definitely thought it was Windstorm Colossus, but uh, that is a win condition, I will say. And I'll take it. <laughs> cool. Oh. Well, I appreciate you all joining for the stream. Um, this is a new format. I think I, I like it. I think it, it helps, you know, speed things along. And um, I think I'll keep doing this, where I answer questions in, in between uh, the games and then, um, you know, talk about the game as I play it. So um, just make sure you 
like, comment, and subscribe. No, really, if you uh, actually like the content, just go ahead and um, subscribe. That'd be amazing. Um, I'm looking to eventually hit the 50 followers, uh, so any follow will greatly benefit me. So, and you know, you can turn off notifications if I you know stream too much, but I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, hope to stream more, uh, and I mainly focus on Faria, especially if I just want something chill and something I don't really need to think about. Um, and then also uh, Legacies Allure, I think, as something that I plan on um, streaming more. It's a really promising game, honestly. So I hope to get better at that. Um, I actually got to meet a guy that I saw his video that went viral uh, um, back in the day. So really cool to see. And maybe I can start to learn how to make my own card game. Um, I think that's the end goal for me. Um, that being said, uh, thanks for joining, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.